Oh, really? Wait a second. <gasps> the only thing I have done so far is literally type git clone, you know, Laravel framework, so I can have this locally. For you guys, you will have to fork the repo on GitHub, okay? But once you do that, you can effectively clone the repo locally. Now, the, le the next step I wanna take is literally create a new branch for this. So what I will do is type git checkout dash B, and I'm gonna call this feet pipeline finally okay something like this and i'm going to create this new branch now i actually had the need of executing a piece of code regardless of the outcome of this because sometimes here i can i may have actually an exception okay or i may for example not call the next callable within this ensure so i wanted to be able to provide some sort of finally where this code gets executed regardless regardless of the outcome of the pipeline okay and what i end up doing i'm going to show you what i have end up doing which is a little bit you know i don't like it personally but you guys let me know i end up doing something like this it's bad right like you know try finally i don't like it what do you guys think about this Ugh, you know, I have such a beautiful code and I just feel like if I could have do something a la JavaScript, which is literally have this finally right here, I could potentially perform the cleanup within and I wouldn't have to, you know, have this try catch uh, finally thing. What do you guys think about this? All right, folks, I'm excited about this because I haven't bring any Laravel development yet to this channel. I, have, I mean, I've bring Laravel application development, but not actual, you know, framework development. So I want to work on that today. So because we are developing a feature for the pipeline class, something I want to identify immediately is where are the tests for this specific file? Typically on Laravel, in case you don't know, things are organized through Illuminate namespaces. By the way, I don't know the story behind the Illuminate namespace. Does any of you know? Because it's kind of funny. Like, why would this be called it Illuminate? Some people are saying it's because of Illuminati. Other people are saying it's because it brings light to PHP development. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's get started. So we have the pipeline facade. The next move, moving step here is literally identify the tests regarding this pipeline facade. So typically Taylor has, you know, the component under the Illuminate, but then the test suite will also be under that folder component. So here, for example, we are working with a pipeline facade. So something we want to do is go to the pipeline um, namespace and we already see this pipeline test. And I can already see a bunch of testing, which is pretty useful. So if we change things, I'm pretty reinsure that things will still work as expected. Something I'm noticing as well is that we have a bunch of test example, so I can probably borrow some of these tests to actually have our thing working as expected. So let's do some TDD. Let's literally copy this test, go at the end of the file, bam, 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 bam. And let's just copy paste this, change the test name. Unfortunately, we are not use, using past PHP. Boo! So test, pipeline finally method let's do this and then prepare our scenario so what exactly we want to test today okay what i'm going to do here is have two pipes the pipe number one which will call the next okay and then we have the pipe number two which is this one i'm literally writing the test right now okay i'm literally writing the test right now and what i will do is that I'm going to still set this variable on the server, but I'm going to not call next. Okay. Okay. By not calling that next, the then won't be executed. Okay. So what I do expect is to be able to do something like this. Finally. And I'm going to set something on the server so I can test this. Okay. So here, what I'm going to do is type pipe finally. Okay. And I'm going to assign this to the pipe uh, deal, okay? And the result should be the following. The here, the foo should be null because we are never going to call the next on the pipe number two. So the foo or... No, this is wrong, by the way. There we go. This should be null, okay? The pipe number one should still be foo, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. The pipe number two should still be foo. There we go. However, the finally method should be executed. 
So let's just, for example, say that pipe finally should be foo. And at the end, I'm gonna use this little thing we have to also unset the server finally, okay? So obviously this test will fail. There we go. Call it undefined method finally, which makes sense. We don't have this, this method coded. First thing I'm noticing through TDD is that the method finally does not exist. Okay, so let's go into this uh, little pipeline uh, facade or class and actually add this finally method. So something I feel like we could do, add this finally on the very end. What do you guys feel about that? Yeah, I feel like we could do something like here, for example. So here I'm gonna type public function finally, okay? And then I'm gonna provide a closure, which will be the callback of the, of the finally, okay? And through regular TDD, something we can do now is literally just execute uh, the test again and just have the test telling us what's happening, okay? So the, th the second thing happening is that the test read is telling me that the then function was, or the then method is being called on null. And this typically means that I'm not returning this from this finally method. So I'm gonna click on finally and return this right here. Okay, I can also add beautiful documentation right here sets a finally callback to be executed after the pipeline ends regardless of the outcome there we go and the return is this let's run our test once again and see the result and one of the results is identifying that null is identical to foo i don't see foo being set on this um dollar server finally okay so this particular assertion is still failing for some reason we need to check why um so what i'm going to do is go to the finally and actually set this given callback somewhere i think i'm going to go to the top uh, section of this class right here and specify a new you know a new property i think i'm going to do at the end i'm going to call this protected finally and by default is null. And I'm gonna call this the final callback to be executed after the pipeline ends, regardless of the outcome. And I'm gonna also say that this finally may actually be null. It's actually null by default, okay? So let's set this given callback on the finally, just like that. I think we should call this finally callback, maybe, perhaps, or maybe not. Let's just call it this finally at the moment. What do you guys think about that? If I were to run the test suite, we'll still have the test suite failing. There we go, because the finally callback is not being executed. So something we learn is that the actual process of running the entire pipeline actually, actually happens on the then method. So as you can see, the then method is literally the place within the Laravel framework where we are piping, you know, the given object through the pipes, but also, you know, to the final destination, which is a then callback. So I feel like something we can do is literally try this little thing at the end and then catch, not catch, and then finally, if we have a finally thing, we are going to call that finally just like that, okay? With the, with the current passable. Uh, what happens if I run my test suite? It is passing as expected, which is fantastic. Finally, once this is literally pushed to remote, we can see already that feed finally, uh, pipeline finally, it was pushed seven, seven seconds ago. So I can click on compare and pull request this, okay? Uh, as you know, Laravel requires you to literally pull the branch you are targeting to better help Taylor Otwell uh, understand the pull requests coming. So this is literally targeting 11.x and I'm going to just call this adds finally method to pipeline uh, helper. Okay, This pull request adds the final method, there you go, executed regardless, Okay, just like that. And then a cool idea when you do something like this is specify an example. So let's do the before and the after, okay? And yeah, effectively what we have here is way better than this, in my opinion, okay? So what is the preview of this? Yeah, the preview, I think it really convinced people. At least I hope so. Let's see also the preview of uh, the code being committed. So we have this finally, we have the return of the pipeline, and the finally, if there is any finally callback. I think we're ready, we're ready. Yes, Beacon Flow is saying yes, let's do that. 
All right, let's do it. It's literally created. I'm going to send you the link in case you guys want to give, you know, some opinions about this. There we go.